Hi everyone and welcome back to Metamorph. This will be the first armed forces video, which is basically an army showcase where I show you all of my painted models so we can see what I have available currently. Uh, so, uh, first out we have my HQs, uh, there's a lot of them, it's a, like a staple of this army, there's a lot of characters. Uh, so, of course, we have a Patriarch. Uh, I really love this model. It's super cool. Uh, I enjoy pa painting it. Uh, it's, it's been a bit disappointing on the table so far, but hopefully <laughs> I'll get better and my luck will improve a bit. <laughs> uh, next out, we have a Magus. Uh, the female version. One of my favorite models. Uh, and then we also have a male Magus. It's also really fun to paint. Uh, I have not yet used both Maguses simultaneously in the game, but maybe I'll try it out in the future. Uh, ah, and then we have the Primus. Uh, this model is just... I, I love it. It's great. Uh, I've been experimenting with him a bit, uh, trying to make the most of his, out of his auras, but... Uh, there's some more experimenting to be done. <laughs> and then we have the Abominant. Uh, it's such a cool model, but usually it's it's very expensive. And it, it doesn't really do the business for me. And since Aberrants are so expensive, I rarely use him. Uh, then we have the Jackal Alphas, one of my favorites. Just plus one to hit. And on an amazing model, I really like the biker models. It just, I think she goes into every list I have. Uh, Accolade Icon Wards, I got three of them. I'm just gonna show you one here. Uh, useful, cheap HQ. Mm. Model is so so. It's okay. Can ease. I'm probably gonna convert future <laughs> Icon Wards into more Acolytes. And then, moving on to troops, we have 30 Acolytes, uh, about, well, we have 6 Sauls, 3 Cult Icons, and uh, a Drill, because the Drill is so cool, so here, yeah, the Smalls, I mean the Sauls, they're, they do the business, and they're really cool, so I mean, <laughs> they're an ought to include. The Drill, it's, it's not really so good compared to the saw and it's even more expensive but it's I mean look at them all it's just so cool <laughs> yeah but these models there are they are they're really fun to paint I mean, not that difficult and they're just I mean they are the face of this army like three to four arms lots of claws and <laughs> knives it's so awesome okay uh, then we have neophytes. I have 63 of them at the moment. Been looting some extra from uh, vehicles. Uh, and uh, I'm running all mining lasers on them and mostly auto guns. I got one unit with shotguns. Uh, but yeah, they they go into every list. You need lots of neophytes. Uh, been uh, trying to make the mining lasers even more efficient. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, special weapons. I got some grenade launchers, some Webers. Mm, they went up in points, but they still I still use them. We'll see in the future how useful they'll be if I cut them or not. Yeah. But, I mean the Weber it's it's really cool. I like it, but <laughs> Uh, a D3 Flamer, 6 inch range, yeah, maybe not so good with all the new Elite stuff people are putting out. Alright, Elites. Uh, lot of, lots of characters here, as is the staple of this faction. <laughs> so, we got a Sanctus, I usually equip him with a knife. Uh, do I have them or magnetized so I can switch out for a sniper rifle? But I'm mostly be using the knife because it's so much cooler. 
Uh, then we have a Nexos. Uh, not been using these guys so much. Uh, I mean, command points are nice, but I find just a hassle to roll for them, and it's usually a liability giving up points for assassin assassinate uh, since you really don't want a unit to babysit him. Uh, then we have the awesome Kelomorph. He's uh, usually hit or miss. It's like usually uh, he's like, oh, he can come in and do the big stuff, or he can come in and totally whiff and then die. It's like usually, or <laughs> speaking truthfully, in both cases, he normally dies. But uh, yeah, he's one of the coolest models in the range, in my opinion. And then, there's another one of my favorites, the Clamavus. Uh, had, I've not used him a whole lot, but he's one of my newer models. But uh, I, I like him, I like the models so much, I, I want to include him. And plus one to charge and advance aura, it's pretty good. But I'm thinking more about the 12 inch uh, uh, deny reserve aura. It's I think I can find some uses for it. Okay, moving on. Ah, then we have the Aberrants. Uh, yeah, these guys are expensive and usually disappoint me. They, yeah, they, I, I don't know if I rolled badly, but they, they always disappoint me. <laughs> so I tend to avoid them. It's a shame though, they're so cool. All right, and uh, next <laughs> up on the disappointment line, we have pure strains. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're fast. They can hit this decently hard, but I mean, acolytes usually do the job better. And for seventeen points a model, they're, they're just too expensive. It's, uh, ah, it's a real shame. And they don't get cold green, so no, <laughs> I rarely use them. Oh yeah, and here's a, <laughs> it's actually an old uh, pure strain model, like the older version, but I didn't have a head on it, head for it, so I put on a, uh, like a newer head, so yeah, it turned out okay. <laughs> okay, so in fast attack, we got some jackals and some reach runners, so start off with the jackals here. Uh, these are like the coolest models ever. I'm probably gonna get like five or ten more of these. Uh, they're very useful with the quick movement and all, but they don't really do a lot of damage. So we'll see. I've been trying. I tried them out as Rusted Claw, like when I started playing, like doing the demo bomb, but they they just whiffed every time. So. I'm not, I'm not sold on them, but I keep using them because they're really cool. And then, uh, yes, the Ridge Runner, our best unit at the moment, I'd say. It's when those mine lasers go off, they they really put the hurt on enemies. <laughs> and heavy stubbers are useful too. I mean, they're fairly durable with the six of you know pain, uh, and. <laughs> I mean, Stubbers putting out some shots, so, I mean, they're, they're useful. They're not super great, but, like, when you got, if you got a lot of them, they, they can at least do some damage, which is good. And then we have a Goliath truck. Uh, not my best paint job, but I wanted to get it done quick. <laughs> so... Been using it like on and off. I only have one of them, one of them, so it's usually it usually just dies. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So here's the entire army in its whole in its full glory, whatever you say. I think I'm at about two thousand six hundred points ish at the moment. Uh, so that's good, but uh, if you cut the aberrants and the pure strains, 
uh, you end up around like 2000, what would it be like 2300 maybe, something like that. So I don't really have a lot of flexibility in a 2000 point list, so <laughs> I must add more models. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, here's my next project for the army. Probably gonna build this up as two rock grinders, probably magnetizing the front shields so I can switch between rock grinders and trucks. Uh, they're really cool models with the like the front saws and everything just driving through people. So Hopefully they they will be useful. We'll see. So this has been the first armed forces video. I'll write a list of all the models I currently have down in the description, so you can check it there if you want to. Uh, thank you for watching, and bye.